Welcome back to the grind for another Cavalier Event Quest video. This one is another Hitmonkey boss fight, but this time using a champion that does not innately gain a bunch of buffs. Now, yes, Dr. Doom does have access to buffs, but it's not an easy access that you can just stack up multiple, and you can't even stack three. So, Dr. Doom does have to play into the nodes of this quest. Now, every time you parry and every time you throw a special attack, you can get Furies that have a fairly short duration, but long enough that you can stack up multiple. Now, every parry gives you one Fury and every special attack gives you a Fury equal to how many bars of power you consumed with your special attack. So a special two will give you two Furies, a special one will give you one Fury, and a special three should give you three Furies. So we had one about to expire pretty close when we threw the special three, but coming out of the special three, we should have three more Furies that we get on top of that. And actually, because the special three does stun, you'll actually get another Fury buff. So we ended up coming out of that with five, which is obviously more than enough to get past the buffed up and even at the start of the fight you notice it wasn't too challenging to get to three now the problem is if you have less power than the opponent when that timer expires you will be fate sealed and lose all your buffs and then there will be a period of time where you cannot gain more so that's obviously going to mean you cannot do damage during that time but now let's build back up to gaining fury so we parry back off parry again back off, parry one more time, and then we can go in and start dealing damage like we normally would. And once you get up to three, you can just continue to cycle through parries and special attacks to maintain at minimum three fury buffs without too much trouble. So it really isn't that challenging to do this fight with a champion that doesn't innately gain a ton of buffs. Now, unfortunately, I do not get the solo on this fight, but I do get pretty close. But I did want to show this video so that you didn't have to worry too much about taking a less ideal champion or one you're not as familiar with just because they stack buffs and instead maybe consider bringing in a champion that you are more comfortable with and just knowing how to play around the nodes like this and look at how many fury buffs we've stacked up now dr doom is able to throw lots of special attacks because he steals power so that's how he's able to get a lot of fury buffs but other champions can make it work too so i do hope this video is helpful Check out my channel and the playlist for other helpful guides and videos. And thank you all for the support who are currently subscribed and watching my videos. Those of you who haven't yet, take a look and see if you would like to. But I hope to see you in the next video.